Malfurion versus Jaina. You asked for it. I must protect the wild. My greetings. Ooh, he kept all the cards. That's very scary. Oh, he's got a mana worm. Mm. All the cards, huh? Huh. So. What is best here? I think we are definitely playing the Snow Flipper Penguin, right? And the question is if we are playing the this guy. Probably not, because next turn coin this allows us to kill the Mana Worm if he just trades into the Snow Flipper Penguin and Frost Bolts the Enchanted Raven. So I think it's actually correct here to not coin this one. And then let's say if he trades here and plays another minion. No, we, hmm. we're probably always coining this just also to get patches out. Mm, now we could hero power in theory to save the coin. Mm, no, right? It's good enough here. Attack the penguin. Get patches value. I like it. So if he... One of these cards should be Frostbolt, right? So he's probably going to Frostbolt this. Oh, just Arcane Intellect, okay. So it's a Burn Mage and he maybe kept cards against... Uh, Druid? Eventually. Speak your peace. Holy buffing this using the AoE buff here. So he was potentially surprised by my deck. It looks like to me. Because keep an arcane intellect is really not that powerful against the deck. You win. Yeah. Wow, this really feels like the old aggro druid. Seems to be a very nice deck. Malfurion versus Malfurion. I must protect the wild. Nature must be preserved. Is this good enough? Firefly and tomography shards is already quite insane crypt lord crypt lord is a little bit slow and obviously i want the raven and stuff i think crypt lord is too slow against druid honestly i'm looking for penguin and raven my greetings there we go penguin if he coins the hero power here that's completely fine with me right That's kind of bad usage of the coin, I would say. And he still needs to have Wrath for the Direwolf. <laughs> we can just play another Penguin. So we almost guarantee to get the value from the Mark of the Charge. I like that a lot. Okay, we get a living mana, I like. Ooh, another one I like. This is probably the strongest card against um they drew it. I think I really wanna play around MCT here. 
because I'm not playing these. Cannot play it on, right? We had lethal anyway, right? Even with the hero power. Mario of Yishosh is so powerful. Melfurion versus Valira. Watch your I think Mario of Yishosh is that powerful that it makes me want to put in uh, Mark of the Wild, it's called, I think, right? <clears throat> Ooh, this hand looks weak though. I think if this hook boy, hook boy, this is a known person, I want to say, right? I think so. If he gets a decent hand, I'm pretty screwed. My greeting. Job done. No, he didn't draw patches. Why? My hand suddenly looks much better. Oh, he cannot co- Okay, so probably no saucy captain in hand. He would have coined that, right? I'm pretty sure. And I think it's pretty fine with me that he attacks there. Unless... Like a crawler, right? But still, I'm gonna take out these guys. Behold oh, wow. Okay. Mm. But it's not druid, right? Oh, I should have considered the Crypt Lord, right? Uh, but this just looks so much stronger for some reason. He needs something really powerful here. Okay, hallucination can always give you stuff that's really powerful, right? <clears throat> Probably over. This is really, guys, this is the revival. Oh, damn it, he got something. Good. Is it going to be enough, though? Wrap into what? Into Jade Blossom. Okay, wait, Jade Blossom doesn't really do anything. Eighteen plus. Wait, uh, six plus nine. Really close, but it's not lethal. Um, are we just playing the living mana though? No, probably not. Why are we? Probably we are playing living mana. No, but the next turn we cannot Savage Roll. No, 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 no. We want to set up for Savage Roll. We want to set up for Savage Roll. And we ignore that. If he has a combo card here with a Wild Spin Slayer, do we have still lethal? Not quite, right? Oh, come on. Ooh, double Savage Raw, is that lethal? Double Savage Raw, bump bump bump, not quite, right? Um, almost. I still think we are doing it? Or are we just using one Savage Raw? I still think we are doing it.
And which one do we want to get damaged? Two damage AoE is the hardest one to get, right? But putting him to two... Or saving this one. No, putting him to two is gotta be stronger, right? It's gotta be stronger. Even though this trade looks valuable for him, I don't think he can find anything in the deck that helps him. Especially not against the living mana. Nice! Got that good boy also! How many wins in a row do we have? Let me check, guys. This is completely nuts, right? Let me check. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 wins in a row. No, wait, that's, the last rogue is missing. 11 wins in a row. I must protect the wild. Um, war against paladins? That? It's a little bit like if it's controlled paladin, I want to have the. The Christ Alchemist against the Doomsayer, that's for sure, right? Well met. We just played this one, right? And then next turn we decide what to do. If he cannot buff it... Hmm. I wonder. Why are we just passing here? Can pass potentially be better? Turn 3 we could... No, that's probably too slow against Malak Paladin. We need to sacrifice the Raven here, I would say. The light dims, but we fight. This will be this one, I think. If he has the weapon here, that's still fine with me, right? We actually want to get the weapon out because we have the counter here. And the weapon doesn't even kill it, right? Okay. So what do we do? I think we do this trade. Is it time for Patches and Direwolf? It probably is. Probably is. We still have more weapon destruction, right? We play around a lot of stuff. We can even play around two silver champion, I just realized. Let's do it. Plays a little bit into consecration, but also not too much. Say. Reporting for duty. Man, I want to lose my pirate. The scourge will devour more. This doesn't set up for lethal, does it? 26. So this is 7 damage. Plus another... This would be 8. Plus another 12. Uh, that's only 20, 21 damage next turn with this. Hmm. But what are we waiting for? 
Let's play it, right? I think let's play it. After all, it's buffing two guys here. And he's an aggressive Murloc Paladin. Okay. Probably Redemption or Getaway Kodo. Since he's taken so much time here, probably Getaway Kodo. He's probably calculating a savage roll would be lethal. Reporting for duty. Ooh, it's definitely a card I'm gonna play. Savage Shore is never more value next turn, right? So I think we play it this turn. But we want to clear the board though. Maybe we are not playing Savage Shore. I don't think we play Savage Shore. So the secret is likely get away Kodo, right? We have 9 plus another 11, so we have 20 damage. Not quite 23 though. That doesn't really help him that much, does it? Weapon is pretty weak. Should not. Hmm, should I actually place it next to the direwolf or not? That's a very interesting question. It's also pretty good to have the taunts buffed, right? Hmm. I don't think it matters in this game, but in another game it could matter. I think when he has a weapon equipped, actually, I wanna have. Oh, there's actually more mid-range value deck also. Just had good start, but savage is now always lethal, right? So he, he might have Consecration in the deck, actually. I must protect the wild. So this is really good against Zoo, but... Mm -hmm. Actually, this can also work against... I'm surprised how, how little I play the Serenade Chain Gang in the deck. He must never need it. Develop some minions, right? I don't 
think Zoo can do all that much. You are not the boss of me. You are not the boss of me. Okay, that's pretty good. And this pickable dreadlord gone. Cannot really discard that much, right? No good patches here. So we track this. Put send in patches there. No, oh, I like it more to develop the big taunt. It's definitely a little bit misquished position. <laughs> Come on, Mark of the Lotus. Instant win. Ah, patches instead. No. Mm. Why, patches? Why? Hmm. I think Die Wolf Alpha is the best here together with Patches, right? I'm waiting for no one. Do a hero power. Final no, I think Patches is the best. Like this the most. Especially how the board turns out. Next time we can play Living Mana. Zu never has a real answer against that. Is that actually that strong? Not quite sure. Like what do you do against this? The only thing is, if he has a big drop now, I cannot really play. Blah. That's an annoying drop here. Sucks a bit. Maybe we we'll get a mark of the Lotus though. Does he have bone mail? Then I probably lose. Mm. I think I can come back from this. Why did I drop hatches? There's no way, right? Stupid saucy captain. I can see. A double bone there. Huh. That monk is us in me. I deserved it after 12 wins in a row.